uh, Gerhard Wisniewski. Both of these last two have sold at least 100,000 copies in Germany. These people have a real following. My dear friend Maurizio Blondet writes it as coup d'etat, colpo di stato in USA, 11th of September. This is extremely sophisticated, uh, how the coup, the modern coup, looks. And it's as, this is an example of the modern coup. And here's Annie Machon and uh, David Shaler, of both of MI5, both whistleblowers. This is their book. Uh, and after that, they went on then to the Mihap. So the goal of this movement, I would say, is we've got to get to the point where we know that if terror occurs, it's not coming from the cave or Hezbollah or Iran. It's coming from Cheney. Cheney is, of course, a kind of a shorthand. I don't mean just the old guy with the pacemakers and all that, the old drunk, but his backers, his controllers, his office, the forces in the administration and in Wall Street that are around him. So these are the people who did it. Now let's see how far we can get. The proof of my hop, I would say, is in the drills and exercises. Now some of these are actual planes and tanks and guns moving around in the world. Some of them are staff exercise, some of them are computers, sandboxes, all kinds of different things. And they're run under legal cover. The classic function of a drill is to deceive. If I want to invade a country, I put out a communique saying, my forces are going to have peaceful summer maneuvers along the border of your country. And as soon as they're there, I give the order to attack, and I bootleg the attack under the cover of the drill. The other classic one is two officers. One is loyal, one is treasonous. He's part of the coup. The loyal officer looks over at the treasonous guy's screen. He says, hey, crashing planes into buildings. What's that? The other guy says, that's amalgam virgo, and uh, you, you don't have a clearance. OK, so it's used as a cover for coup attacks uh, or uh, provocation. Now, coup d'etat is one part of the government attacks the other parts. Therefore, there are some people who don't agree with your coup. You've got to bootleg it in so they don't know. Now, 9-11 is a day of drills more dense than any other in the history of the United States, as far as I know. It's 15 plus drills that either take place or bear on it. Here's a list. If you want to know about drills, I urge you to go to Arkin and to Paul Thompson, the terror timeline. The concept is this. If you want to bootleg a terror action through a drill, design the drill to resemble the terror action you want, and at that point, very small changes will allow the thing to take place, and that can be done by your rogue insiders. How about Mongoose? Officially, an operation to kill Castro. In reality, to kill Kennedy, bootlegged under a cover. This was a US nuclear drill. The Soviets looked at it and said, that's a drill that's going to become real. We go to red alert. So the whole world was then on the brink of nuclear war in the Euro missiles crisis then. London, July 7th, Atlantic Blue, top off three, triple play, all talked about bombs in the London subway at the time of an international conference. Visor Associates, Peter Power, said we were drilling bombs in those stations at those times. Now, what does it take to realize what's going on here? The actions are being bootlegged or conduited through these actions. So, if you look at 9-11, and I'll, get, I'll do as much of this as I can, you can see that the main aspects of 9-11 are all covered. They're all represented by important drills. We have a series, we can call them the air defense suppression drills with multiple fake targets. The idea here is you're taking aircraft away from New York, Washington, far away, and you're introducing fake blips and fake planes, military or commercial, that are going around saying, I am hijacked. That includes Vigilant Guardian, Vigilant Warrior, it's all in my book, and Northern Vigilance. Now, in this case, they go to Northern Alaska and Canada because they're pr practicing defending against a Russian bomber exercise. Here's Northern Guardian. With this, we get up to 29 aircraft reported hijacked on the day of. So you have fewer airplanes of your own and more that you have to defend against. Now, this one is a real defense against Russia. This is six planes sent to Iceland on the day of because the Russians are having this bomber drill. This is supposedly real, not a drill. And then we have the real, illegal US no-fly zone over northern Iraq, which had to be enforced. So planes were sent for that. The result is Langley Air Force Base, the key one, is down to one-third of its normal strength as a result of these events. We've also got a couple of ones, Crown Vigilance 
Apollo Guardian about which almost nothing is known. Now we have drills for bases and first responders. September 5th, the whole US Army, as far as I know, goes to full access control, the lockdown of the base, right? What you know from Dr. Strangelove when General Jack Ripper puts on the security of the base. The firefighters at the Pentagon are prepped at Fort Myer, Virginia. And all these forts, of course, around Washington, Meyer and Belvoir, are sensitive because they are the ones you need to dominate to have a coup, Belvoir. The CIA FBI anti-terror team is AWOL to Monterey, California on the day of. It's like Fletcher Prouty being sent to the South Pole for the Kennedy assassination in the JFK movie. Tripod 2, this is Giuliani's uh, uh, chemical biological warfare exercise. And we even have the first responders for New York prepared at Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, uh, just as it's going on in real time. And the Shanksville first responders are also prepared by a special drill. The main issue here is keep everybody away, right? Don't let anybody near the site, cordon off the site. And now we come to the drills that are actually used to produce the main events. Amalgam Virgo 01, apart from other interesting details, it is either a freighter or a barge, and they shoot a cruise missile from the water, from the Gulf or the Atlantic, to the land. This is the Pentagon, as far as I can see. Cruise missile. There's also a plan, this is interesting, Delta pilots, actors posing as passengers, hijacked by FBI agents posing as terrorists. So I would say Amalgam Virgo is the Pentagon. The Pentagon plane crash drills, we've just heard about those. I won't go into those, the models and so forth. It's clear that they were drilling these things six ways to Sunday, as Seymour Hersh respond, uh, reports. They're doing NORAD planes into buildings exercises for a long time in advance. Richard Clark had his own drill crashing a plane into the White House in 1998. There he is again. And even a chemical weapons jet. This was, I think, the subject of a movie. The most interesting, the National Reconnaissance Office, planes hit buildings. The top US intelligence agency was to simulate a plane crash into a building on September 11th. This is Chantilly. This is the agency that does the satellites. So they can see everything. They don't need to worry about radar. They see it all. So this, I take it, if you have an exercise about crashing planes into buildings, then what you're doing is crashing planes into buildings. And I take it that there's this an un invincible prima facie case that that's what this was. The NRO drill was the Twin Towers. Now, Congressman Weldon has been talking about able danger. I just want to tell you one thing about able danger. Able danger are terrorist controllers. They are not good guys who are reporting on the movements of these terrorists. They track them because they run them. They have to supervise them. And he says their task was to manipulate. As soon as you say manipulate, that's what a terrorist controller does. That's what it means to be a terrorist controller. It's also, I think, paired with Able Warrior. Able Warrior is the big yearly drill of uh, counter-terror. In other words, it's a defensive anti-terror drill. If you're going to do a defensive anti-terror drill, you've got to have another one that simulates the attack. So my thesis is Able Danger is the attack against which Able Warrior then defends right, in the binary pairs. It's going to be hard to find this out because approximately two and a half terabytes of information equal to one quarter of the Library of Congress have simply been deep sixed. Now the last one is the mushroom cloud. You see I have this on the cover of the book. I don't have buildings. I have the mushroom cloud. In the morning of this day, the US uh, B1s and B-52s were in the air loaded with H-bombs as they were during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Land-based missiles and submarines were also ready to go. This is before any airplanes are hijacked, and the Russians see this. So the whole thing is mobilized. Also, these uh, doomsday machines, the, the, uh, the doomsday night watch looking glass airplanes are all done. This is General Ivashov, my, my friend. He was commanding the Russian forces on that day. He basically confirms all of this. The air bases involved are these, off foot and Barksdale, notice Bush runs to Barksdale and Offutt. And in the Global Guardian, we have a bad insider who has access to key command and control systems who could actually launch missiles. 
This is another back door for the invisible government to come in. In other words, the pretend rogue insider turns into a real rogue insider and actually